Hello friends, myself Dr. Madhuri Shrinivas. So today's revision topic is hydrogen separative. In which of the following areas is hydrogen separative is most commonly seen? And the answer is axilla. So let us, you know, quickly see about hydrogen separative. A few important points. First, what are the other names? Yes, it is also called as inverse acne or apocrine acne. And the basic etiopathogenesis uh, in the case of this condition is there be, is going to be a blockage of the apocrine glands and all along with that even the hair follicles and there is going to be inflammation seen uh, in this apocrine gland and which can be clinically observed to be pus filled lesions present and what are the sites uh, where the lesions can be seen in this condition axilla groin these are the most important sites and how does it present it will present with very painful erythematous nodules and usually the age group is going to be 20 to 30 years where females are more commonly affected than the males. So clinically there can be comedones present initially which can later on enlarge to become nodules which can be filled with pus where they will be called as abscesses and they can finally discharge the pus onto the skin surface forming sinuses which ultimately are going to heal with band like scarring band like scarring and just know few points about the staging and also treatment so hurley staging is used to identify the stage of the hydrogen separative uh, depending upon which the treatment will be uh, delivered to the patients and that in the treatment part just remember that in the severe form of hydrogen separative uh, monoclonal antibody which is human necrosis factor alpha inhibitor that is adalimumab has been approved for usage in the hydrogen separative patients and uh, one question for all of you follicular occlusion syndrome this is going to have four components one of them is hydronative separative the others are dissecting cellulitis of the skull dissecting cellulitis of skull and the other one is acne conglobata and one more thing my question to all of you is what is the other component which is going to form the tetrad in follicular occlusion syndrome post your answer in the comment section below so please hit that like button if this video was helpful and these were the students who answered this question right very good axilla and this is yesterday's question tall like receptor 7 agonist is imiquimod 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 which is immunomodulator which is used in the patients of genital warts very good if you have answered it Genital in the yesterday's uh, video, very good. You can join my Instagram and Telegram. The groups links are there in the description below. Pause this video and try to answer this question 427 followed by your answer in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Myself, Dr. Madhuran Srinivas, Sarvam Sri Krishna from Sarvachana Sokino Bhavantu.